Welcome back, everybody. We're walking through the ways that God gives his forgiveness to us. So we've talked about baptism. We've talked about holy absolution, the gospel proclaimed. And now we are at the sacrament of the altar. So with these ways that God gives us forgiveness, it's not like one's better than the other. Like here's baptism, here's here's absolution, and here's the sacrament of the altar. That's, that's not how it works. They all are given to us so that we may be reminded and renewed and strengthened and nourished in the reality that we are forgiven. Remember, Luther talks about what are the benefits of this eating and drinking? Forgiveness of sins, eternal life, and salvation. For where there is forgiveness of sins, there is eternal life and salvation. So when we eat this bread, the body of Christ, and drink this wine, the blood of Christ, we are forgiven our sins. Faith takes hold of the words of Christ, eats and drinks, and we are forgiven. We're nourished, we're renewed and strengthened. Faith is strengthened that it may receive this absolution. So when we eat and drink together, not only are we met receiving that forgiveness from Christ, we are also nourished in the community in which we partake. We commune together. And when we depart from that table, remember the post-communion call it faith toward God and fervent love toward each other. The only way we can have that love for each other is knowing that God forgives us, that God doesn't hold anything against us, that God, he's not angry with us. In fact, he loves us unconditionally. And now because of this, we're free to love our neighbor, free to forgive our neighbor, free to strengthen them in the one true faith and say, you know what? God loves you too. Just as much as he loves me, he loves you. Why? Because I know it because he gives me his body to eat, his blood to drink, the same body and blood that were handed over on the cross, I now receive for my forgiveness. So be at peace, y'all, and may you continue to have the strengthening of the Holy Spirit, the gift of faith to receive that sacrament worthily for the forgiveness of your sins, that you may have that nourishment and that assurance that you are loved by God. God bless y'all. We'll see you next time. Thank you for watching Higher Things Video Shorts. If you're looking for an easy way to support Higher Things, remember to like, share, and subscribe. and hit that bell icon for content notifications. You can follow Higher Things on social media and on our website, higherthings.org. If you love what we're doing, we ask that you remember us in your prayers and donations.